I suppose looking at Dublin and Mead and in Leinster, I mean that's that's definitely one for the ages, all right. Um, I suppose thirty-seven wins for Dublin in the head-to-head, nine draws, twenty wins for Mead. Um, twenty twenty, actually the biggest margin of victory between the two, which is actually crazy, really. Like it, it only happened literally about a couple of months ago, a twenty-one point victory. Um, but yeah, down the years, like some mad games, even nineteen ninety-one. Like my dad always tells me stories about that whole occasion four games the Leinster championship was almost basically finished there was provincial finals already played and they were still in the quarterfinals and they played four games and Mead eventually won it went down to the All-Ireland final didn't win it but got to the final definitely some some intense games down the years I can't forget 2010 as well because I'm sure some Mead fans will will want me to mention that one <laughs> the Dublin bias is kicking in hard. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I just had to bring it back there a little bit there, just just for a couple of seconds. <laughs> not not that you're the best team to probably ever play the game, but barring that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, an absolutely fantastic rivalry. I can always remember. I think it was back in 2005. Graham Garrity having a great game against just kicking points from all angles, and it's just so unfortunate that that rivalry has just gone down to Swanee in the last couple of years. We've seen in the 2020 final that was a Dublin one by what 17 plus points and it's just disappointing like because Dublin and Mead are two absolutely fantastic football and counties there and like god like even me players over the years are talking to Kevin Riley there last week and he was remarking and so like he'd Stephen Bray, Ian Ward, Joe Sheridan, Graham Garrity, Anthony Moyles players definitely de- players that definitely deserve to win more Leinster titles but obviously this Dublin dominance uh, got in the way of that but a seriously, seriously good rivalry. And I, I know you were remarking in 2010, just before the Dublin dominance, and me got the had your number that day. And but like we just haven't seen and we just haven't seen enough of that. And I think the 2020 final summed it all up because it did like everyone thought, oh sure, me youngsters might give the dogs a rattle. It didn't mm-hmm. happen. It's another couple of years for these boys to come probably properly come true. And um it's it is disappointing because like you're, like you're Dublin Mead, it's just a ferocious rivalry. You can even remember back in the 90s, you had Bernard Flynn and Baron York, all them boys going toe to toe. And we just haven't seen it. We just haven't seen it. And like it, it is mad because it shows how dro- driven all the Dublin lads are. They abs- still absolutely love beating Mead by no matter what. Even as a fan, he's, he's absolutely love beating them, no problem at all. And it's it's been no problem to you. But it's just such a pity that the spice is gone. And like Meadows have had very, very good players. They've had some of the best sports ever play in Leinster, but just have never got your number. You've always blown them out of the water, and they probably have lacked a lot of confidence in that. Players dropping away. I know you, Joe Sheridan, and he was saying that uh, this, like, the Dublin setups uh, like a really well run organization, which it is. Um, and this Mead aren't up, up, up at that level. Is, is there a problem with grassroots? Is there nothing being done there? Is, is the funding the problem? Like, Jesus, Mead is a fantastic football encounter. Like, a Calvin has came up against Mead numerous times, had their number a lot of times as well. But, yeah, it is such a pity because it is probably the biggest, probably is one of the biggest rivalries in Gaelic football. Um, where Mead have fallen short, I'm not sure. I just think it's just that lack of confidence when it comes up to Leinster. They're just thinking, what's the point here? Because I know that they wins every stages against the likes of Kildare and Wicklow, but... You know, I think they, they, they beat them teams to get bet by most county teams around Ireland. But uh, it's such a pity that the spice has gone out of it, Aaron, because Christ, oh, five, Graham Garrity, Boston things and the like. Like, God, if they, if, they, if they could get a rivalry going again with them two teams. Like, even there is one for you. I don't know, like, would it be an interesting one? If you brought, if you had Dublin against Mead down in Park Tolson and Navin, Aaron, that could even be an interesting one because obviously this Mead team is starting to come slightly good again all the young lads coming up just to create a bit of excitement again because at the end of the day Aaron, it's not doing anyone good to watch like even the 2019 final Dublin steamrolled Mead again yeah no one like everyone was given out about that game no one enjoyed it so is it just a change of venue for these two teams maybe in the same region of quarters just to get that rivalry excited again Aaron because my god we had some six very, hmm. very good games of football between them two teams over the years. Yeah, it looked like. And I, I remember, um, I think after the, the Dublin Mead game and, you know, I, I was making a video and I kind of gave my thoughts on the game. And I think a Dublin fan kind of summed it up in many ways in the comments down below. He was saying, in many ways, Dublin fans actually miss Mead a little bit because they they miss that rivalry as well. And, yeah. You know, it's, it's it is an, it is an interesting thought. Like, don't get me wrong. We love beating them and beating them 21 points. Like, it's a huge but again, win. But at the same time, it does take that kind of... 
I don't know, like that kind of, you know, occasion out of it in some ways, like. Yeah, no, 100%. I 100% agree with that. And like, there, there would be no better feeling like, than seeing a, just a Dublin Mead game because it's such a good rivalry. Just if you're watching it on the box and you just whatever, whatever situation it is, and you're, there's three or four points in it and the players are going toe to toe. There's big hits. The scores going over from all angles. And Mead have Ford's capable of doing that. Dublin have Ford's doing, capable of doing that 100%. Just toe to toe because it's doing no one any good because everyone in, in, in a GA calendar, GA fan, me myself personally, absolutely love them two teams going toe to toe. And just the last couple of years, the sting has gone out of it. Um, and you'd love to see it just being renewed again. And I'd, maybe it's that Dublin fan that commented, like they would miss me because getting it, like, Dublin Mead, like, and Dubs winning by 17 or 18 points. Back in 04, 05, that would have been absolutely unheard of. So the mm. fact it's got to that stage, like I know this Dublin dominance and everyone suffered a cruel um, defeat against them, but just to try get that back and that kind of love for that rivalry would be fantastic, Aaron, because it's 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 it's, it's a damn it's a damn pity because it'd just be great to have it have it back again, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, and I think Jack McCaffrey even summed it up in in some ways as well, kind of from a Dublin point of view. Anyway, like on on the Brian Brogan podcast, he was talking about how they they see me coming up at underage level and minor level. They see the, the young players that are coming through, and they always believe that at some point me were going to rattle us a bit. They were going to give us a big test. So I think like when you look through like some of Dublin's wins over Mead like I think it's it's not too much of a coincidence by the high margin that Dublin have scored I think they've treated Mead with a lot of respects they have believed yeah. they're going to come in give their A game they're going to give us a tough battle and unfortunately for Mead in some ways like it, they've just thrown the, the towel in in my opinion in 2019 and 2020 and I, I still think they can do better like they definitely have the players to do it like Jordan Morris looks like a phenomenal young player Matthew Costello coming through, Cahill Hickey, I think someone mentioned in the comments down below, is a young player coming through. So they have a lot of very good uh, talent there, a lot of very good young players. So who knows over the next couple of years, like we'll have to wait and see. I think though, ultimately though, it, it's it's hard to really see when they're going to beat Dublin anytime soon, yeah. realistically. Like, Yeah, no, it's 100%. And like, it's like any other county, when will this uh, Dublin team be best? And, but... Yeah, it's just it's 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 an awful shame, Aaron, because it's it's a massive rivalry, and the fans, oh, like like you've seen yourself, you've seen the buzz that Mead fans thought they had going into that Leinster final. Like everyone was thinking, oh, geez, the young lads might do it. The young, like even the hype we had against you, playing you against us, and obviously that got shot down. And but like you know, Mead, that's what I mean. I think me, it's just that kind of belief that they have in because I keep saying it, it's a mad football county, but it's just that bit of belief that they always have that they can go. Because they always had the force that could, they believe that could uh, get them over the line. But you know that 2020 final, it just goes to show how far the gap is. When that gap be closed again, as you say, I'm not sure. Will it be another couple of years? And it's just, it is, it is, it is a, it is a dying shame. Because at the end of the day, what it's looking like at the minute, and I think Joe said it to you a couple of weeks ago, Dublin is a professional outfit in every shape and way form. Meets not. Um, I know the young lads coming up. But are these young lads that will, you know, take it up against this Dublin team in the next year or two, next three years? I'm not sure because we've seen the Leinster final, even 2019 as well. Mead still are a hell of a way, um, a hell of a way distance from it, Aaron, and um, the Dubs are just going to keep getting stronger, I think. Yeah.